MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell and Marjorie Taylor Greene are in a competition to see who can say the craziest things, and it's a tight race we're following closely. Tom Selleck's slow cousin still can't be convinced that Joe Biden won the election or that stoled isn't a real word. This was stole from us. They were saying, you know, some people don't know the election was stole. Yeah, everybody knows it was stole. Some just don't know it yet. Okay, 31% of Democrats now know 100% this election was taken from us. Uh, and stole from all people, not just Republicans. She's just trying not to laugh this whole time. She even wants us to jump in and be like, stole is not a word, Mike. This was stole from us. I have some proper ABD Roco level footage of Mike Lindell flipping out throughout this, so be sure to stay tuned. Plus, I check out the conservative swamp creatures at the recent MAGA rallies, and I review the latest in stupid from Donald Trump, trucker Randy Bishop, Charlie Kirk, Ben Shapiro, and more. Georgia Representative Marjorie Fred Flintstone Taylor Greene also spoke out in defense of Brooklyn Nets player Kyrie Irving, who has refused to get the COVID-19 shot. She tweeted, The fascist NBA won't let Kyrie Irving play for refusing a vaccine, but yet they still let Magic Johnson play with HIV. Magic Johnson was never a risk to other players. You can't catch HIV from a three-pointer. Comparing a novel virus you can catch with a sneeze to one that requires sharing a needle or playing hide the sausage is her craziest claim since wildfires were started by Jewish space lasers. She's just trying to one-up the stupid. Marjorie, let us remind you, Jack Nicholson has been courtside to almost every Lakers game for decades. And you know what? Jack Nicholson has full-blown AIDS. Okay, that's Jack in the bucket list. He's doing fine because you can't get HIV on the court. Uh, we had a great, great week. The president had his uh, his rally. I wished I could have been there in Iowa, but I was getting a reward. Uh, reward? Uh, no, or we get it. I was getting a reward uh, um, for a um, um, uh, for a Christian. Uh, uh, it was called the Roaring Lambs, and I, I had a prior commitment. But that was amazing. I was honored to get that. I bet if Mike lost his cat, he'd put up signs that say, Stoled cat, award if found. Call ABD124. Uh, a lot of well-known folks in, the, in American history have received that award, so congratulations, Mike. Now that Brandon has said it, Mike's just sitting there confused that it's an award, not a reward. According to the site, Lindell, the founder and CEO of MyPillow, received the prestigious Christian Award at a gala event in Dallas bestowed on those who confidently carried their faith and values into every corner of society. Bucket of Unicorn Wank. Thanks to Stephanie Grissom's book, we learned that Donald Trump had a music man that was on standby to play him show tunes to calm him down, to avoid fits of rage. We just didn't know that his obsession with the musical Cats went into his wardrobe as we now see this picture of him in kitten heels. Yes, when you're over six feet tall and still insecure, a Donald Trump. The only thing better than that picture would be if that picture was taken underneath this billboard that's live right now in Times Square. Trump lost, no more audits. MAGA tears. Now Lindell wants to get some interaction going so he plugs calls and texts and emails. One of them up and we'll kind of make comments. I want I want to take some calls too or some texts too. So why okay. don't you, Brandon, give them your give them your email out ask, again. Ask Brandon at frankspeech.com. Ask Brandon at frankspeech.com. Again, ask Brandon, B R A N N O N, no D in there. Ask Brandon at frankspeech.com. I got four. Um, I got four clips that are just awesome. Yeah. Well, why? Yeah. Why don't you throw one of them up and we'll kind of make comments. All right. Let's see those clips. They're getting so frisky for. Okay, so we got four clips, Arizona, Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Michigan. Here's the first one, Mike. I can't hear it. I can't hear it. What, Logan? No audio. Why is that, Logan? Because you're a ramshackle dumpster fire operation. That's why there's no audio. Okay. We tested it in advance. There should be plenty of audio. Look at Mike's stress level. Um, it's fantastic. Um, let me try again, Logan. Let's take some questions while he's trying, maybe. Okay. Come, well, I'll take some questions while you try to come fix that, Logan. This is perfect. They've got 4 million viewers. They put the email out there. They've got the number on the screen. Let's get some questions going. This is going to be great. Um, 
All right, let's go to our email. Ask Brannon at frankspeech.com. Ask Brannon at frankspeech.com. All right. Uh, let's see here. Mike's just filling time by pushing his junk products, but no one's going to phone, text, or email. No one. Brannon is just looking at his phone, trying to invent a question that he can ask. He's trying to think of something he could say someone wrote in because no one has written in. This is why their 4 million viewer claim is absolutely bogus. No one wrote, text, or called them. They could be sitting there saying, all right, next caller, we're going to give you a free car. Free car, the phones wouldn't ring. I've watched this entire broadcast, so you don't have to, and uh, not one person uh, emails, texts, or phones in. If you're asking for calls, texts, and emails, and you say you have 4 million people, and nobody does that for you, then your numbers are a bucket of unicorn wank. Marjorie Taylor Gangreen wished your Twitter followers a happy Columbus Day, spelling it wrong. But it's no shocker that Marjorie Dog the Bounty Hunter was excited to celebrate someone discovering land already populated by millions of people. I'm just waiting for Marjorie to discover science, logic, compassion, and reason. The Wall Street Journal, we brought to them and others, and they all turned it down. Please, rock to me in the comments. That would be great. Now Brandon finally finds the clip, but starts to play it while his boss is talking. I know the last couple years, people are looking for hope. Ballots came from people who no longer lived. They're looking for hope. I can hear it. Okay, we got it. So that, we got it when okay, you're ready. Let me, let me finish this, Brandon, right now. Yeah. So, so they... Um, okay, it's cool. They got it figured out. Um, so, Brandon, we got those. We yep. got those. Yep. Sorry about that. All right, here we go. We got four clips. Here's the first one on Arizona. President Trump from the rally the other night in Des Moines. All of these calamities are the direct predictable and disastrous consequence of a totally corrupt election. It's all because of the corrupt election. They rigged the election, and now, based on the rigged election, they're destroying our country. Still not working. And again, these are the people that are spearheading the cyber stuff, the election fraud. Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin rocket took 90-year-old William Shatner into space. Captain Kirk went 63 miles above Earth, and he still didn't get as high as Mike Lindell and Donald Trump Jr. As my dad said, Tucker, this is just cancel culture. It's everything we'd expect from the liberals. I, I think we did too much in the bathroom before the show because I'm, I'm a bit hopped up right now. Republican activist and former GOP county chairman trucker Randy Bishop... Whoever won the presidential election in 20... The presidential election. Did these Republicans and other Republicans across the country, did they really want Donald Trump to win? No. Because Biden winning guarantees them that they might be able to get rid of Whitmer, Nestle, Benson, and gain more majority seats on the Republican side next year. Electing Biden to own the libs. Good one, Randy. Oh, and this guy, trucker Randy Bishop, lost his real estate broker's license and has two felony fraud convictions. A, they probably don't live in the state anymore, obviously. Or B, they really did pass away. Or D, never gets old. He was with us all the way. Every time I needed something, you know, he's very persnippity sometimes, right? He's tough. Persnippity, not a real word. And we have lawyers for you, everything else. Um, Brandon, I'm looking at our screen here. Are we still coming in clear? No, you are definitely not coming in clear, Mike. It is completely choppy and bitty, but it's exactly what we'd expect from Frank's speech. Logan, you're blurring a little bit, Mike. Okay. Um, because I might switch it off. Maybe, you, maybe you can... Uh, um, take take us off screen and guide us back in. I'm going to put us on the other another system, quick. Okay. Mike Lindell just said, take us off screen. I'm going to put us on another system, and this is his other system. Let's throw it back over to Mike in Colorado. Mike, are you back with us? Yeah, yeah. We're uh, remember we're going all around the country now. I have a. Uh... So instead of switching devices or computers, he switched women. <laughs> Still blurry, not working. Fantastic. I know my whole family has turned liberal and I don't know what happened because I didn't raise them that way. And they've all been brainwashed to think that he's the most horrible man ever when he's saving everyone. 
everything depends on this. America depends on this. We have got to save. We've got to do everything we can. This is, and I'm not even an American citizen. I was born in England, but I've been here since I was five, and this is my home. And we've got to save it. We've just got to. I'm not even an American citizen. I've been here since I was five. Absolute perfection. Most people at this rally would be sending her back home if she was a different skin color. Nevada, the voter, whenever I'm using that <coughs> for an ex example, <coughs> and, um, and, or any, any amount of non-residents, because they really didn't vote. They just used their name. They don't live there anymore. So when you get counties, when you get a today. rural county, <coughs> they use the, can you get me a water, please? And they use the 2010 census. So if you get a rural place like in Iowa or my state of Minnesota, and you have a place where they moved out of rural into urban, what happens is they you have, end up having more people that voted in the county Get that him actually a glass lived of water. there. And um and they um <sighs> um on the first cough, someone should be opening a bottle of water or sliding over a mug. It's not that hard. That's not working out too well. You see in Minnesota, Minneapolis there. Minneapolis was actually named after when Minnie Mouse went to Minnesota and they're like, it's Minneapolis. This is fantastic. She's terrific. She's terrific. Way better than Mickey. Mickey's a loser. Christian conservative Charlie Kirk has repeatedly pushed the narrative that white privilege is a myth, racism is a lie. Donald Trump won the election and even tweeted this about the condo in Florida. I have spoken to several architects who believe that the building collapse in Surfside was not an act of nature. Many are saying this was domestic terrorism. Charlie Kirk is now encouraging people to reject tyranny, catch the freedom flu. Ending up on a ventilator to own the libs. Good plan. 700,000 more mail-in ballots were counted than went through the post office. Okay, now let's think about that. Mic drop with a big pen. Ben Shapiro was also excited about Columbus Day and tweeted, My daughter woke me up this morning and asked me what day it was. I asked, Is it Columbus Day? She replied, Yep. She then went into my wife's bedroom and asked her the same question. I couldn't be prouder. Yeah, I, I just, I, I absolutely love stuff like this because. These are the people who always comment that uh, I live in my mom's basement and that's all liberals do. He doesn't even sleep in the same room as his wife. His own wife doesn't want to be with him. Classic. What excites you the most about President Trump? Oh my gosh, everything. He tells everything straight as it is. No lies, no BS, nothing. And that's what this country needs, absolutely. No lies, no BS, nothing. Under my administration, we had the exact opposite. We had low inflation, surging growth, and the greatest jobs presidency in the history of our country. And I this is a lie. There was a net job loss during Trump's four years in office. Hillary conceded. I never conceded. Trump definitely conceded. MAGA tears. You're not fooling anyone except the moronic left that hate Trump because of fake MSM telling them to. Even most of them now know the election was stolen. Let's go, Brandon. MAGA tears. You, sir, are a fool and peddle lies. MAGA tears. The cyber ninjas are agents of the deep state and they sabotage the Arizona audit. MAGA tears. Everyone knows you're no apostrophe a shill. MAGA tears. Tommy Campbell, another crying liberal child bored in his mother's basement, wanting an attaboy from lower life liberals to make him feel better. MAGA tears. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, and check me out on Spotify. I am a stand up comedian. I have three albums there. You can stream them for free. That's a pretty sweet deal. If you want to have a friend or colleague roasted or congratulated, you can book me on Cameo. If you're out, be kind to each other, distance when you can, wear a mask if they ask you. Just be cool. Life's short. Have fun. Be kind. Take care.